Good Friday evening, Southeast Texas. There's the potential we could see some severe weather, but it's not a guarantee. Northern half of our viewing area is under the highest risk, which is a 15% chance, if you will. It's a slight risk up towards the lakes area. Southern section's a marginal 5% risk. The biggest threat tonight, if we indeed see severe weather, and it's not, it's not guaranteed. Some of us may not see a drop of rain tonight. That's the potential. We'll be up towards the lakes, and it will be wind damage and also hail damage. That's one inch or larger. Just because you have marble size or penny size hail, that is not severe. It has to be one inch, and the winds have to be at 58 miles an hour or greater. Just because you have 45, 50 mile per hour winds, those are not severe. That is the threshold for severe weather as far as winds and hail. Again, the biggest threat of damaging winds and hail up towards the lakes area tonight. Very small probability of tornadoes, uh, 2 percent, mainly north of the triangle. Otherwise, modeling all over the place as far as exactly when these systems or when these storms are expected to come in. It seems like the most likely probability uh, may be at 10 p.m. and then we get a second round between 1 and maybe 3 a.m. in the morning. Otherwise, we're watching showers and thunderstorms. There's a severe thunderstorm watch box just north of our area, as you can see. Uh, Going to be watching those and also watching off towards our, our north, up towards uh, sections of central Texas for development up that way, heading towards the south and east. So tonight, may see showers and storms coming in from the north or northwest around 10, 10.30 p.m. tonight. We get a break and then additional shower and thunderstorm activity is possible as we head towards the wee hours of the morning. So not a clear cut path as far as that goes, but beautiful weather expected tomorrow afternoon. Choppy seas on the Gulf of Mexico tomorrow around two to four feet in your coastal marine forecast. We'll see northwest winds at 10 to 15 tonight. Again, some may not see anything, but uh, it seems prudent at this point because of the uncertainty to go to about a 40% coverage in the triangle, 70% coverage in the lakes, lows in the 60s as winds shift to the north tomorrow. Afternoon clearing, a beautiful day, highs lower 80s. Extended forecast, green bar day, morning clouds, afternoon sun because of the front. Beautiful weather after a cool start Sunday morning. Uh, low humidity in the afternoon. Monday will be a transition day. Southeast winds return. We'll see the clouds return also and also the muggies. This will open the door to a wet scenario as we head on into Wednesday. Thursday, really Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, some badly needed rainfall. Rainfall amounts don't look very heavy at this time as we start cooling down Thursday and Friday of next week. Download our app, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and as always, there's more weather at 12newsnow.com.